What's up guys, it's Damocles here, and today I want to make a quick video showing you why people care so much about this pre-order assault rifle, and why you might care too. Uh, potentially, you could get one of the strongest tactical rifles in the entire game with very minimal effort and without having to really worry about your inventory getting wiped or anything like that. So if that interests you, like, comment, subscribe, and keep watching this video. As always, I'm streaming on twitch.tv slash Damocles and on YouTube. So if you can leave me a follow or a sub there, that would be most appreciated. And uh, let's just hop right into it. So this Earthborn Renegade Assault Rifle. Uh, if you're anything like me at the start of the game, you already leveled past this thing by the time it became useful to you. And now everything is just kind of sitting in your inbox, in your stash. Um, but... What people didn't know and what was brought to my attention as recently as yesterday in my uh, stream chat was that you can actually farm this so that you're able to level it all the way up to 50 and make its firepower as insane as humanly possible. And so how do you do that? Well, first, let me just show you what you could potentially be looking at. So this is mine that I farmed. It has 95,000 firepower, which if you compare it to the rest of my tactical assault rifles, it dwarfs all of them. It's really nasty. The base damage is 7,290. It's pretty insane. I honestly haven't even used it yet, but this is just what you could potentially be looking at. And so if you could secure one of these fairly easily, that's potentially game changing for you as you level up through the game. And it's super, super simple to do. And there's two different ways of doing it depending on your risk tolerance. So I'll go over those right now. So the first way is you go into your inbox, you grab the rifle from your inbox. Obviously you walk over to the, um, to the mod guys, Zahidi, and what you're basically going to be doing is you everybody wants the tactical variant of this assault rifle uh, because tactical variant assault rifles right now are just like probably the best variant of any gun in the entire game right now they sh they kill super quickly i would highly recommend but that's neither here nor there at this point so every single time you do this the base firepower of the gun is going to be the same and same with the damage until you swap the variant once you swap this variant, this firepower is going to go up or it's going to go down. And that's going to determine if you want to if you want to keep it and continue leveling it up or if you need to go and try again. So if I click this right now, it went to 321. Ideally, what you want is something above 370 because that's going to put your power, uh, your firepower at level 50 above 90,000. Mine uh, in particular was... 377 when I re-rolled it and I got so lucky because this happened within like probably the first 10 minutes of me doing this so I didn't have to farm a lot but for you guys results may vary and maybe you don't care if it's 370 you just want a decent assault rifle in which case go for something you know 350 360 above but for for those of you that really want to get a gun that you'll never have to replace unless they nerf the crap out of this for some reason try and aim for 370 and above so basically now you have the tactile variant, say this was 377, all you wanna do, you do not improve the rarity right away. You would level it up all the way to whatever level you're currently at or level 50. And then once it's level 50, you improve the rarity, which allows you to add a mod slot. Uh, luckily, it already comes with Bone Shrapnel, which is a very solid mod in general. I've talked about it in previous videos, um, but there's certain builds that require bleeds on targets in order to get infinite ammo. Think like Devastator or Pyromancer and even Trickster to some extent. Bone Shrapnel not only does a ton of damage like the explosion itself, but inflicts bleed on everything around it as well. So it is good from a perspective of you don't actually need bleeds on targets or if you want to run an infinite ammo build with bleeds, it is also great for that. And it has a super low cooldown. For some reason, Bone Shrapnel 2 is better than Bone Shrapnel 3. It might get changed in the future, but it doesn't matter regardless. You basically want to just improve this item and then slap on whatever tier 3 mod you want. It doesn't really matter what other mod it comes with. 
uh, but bone shrapnel is really good so you can just replace whatever the other mod is with you know killing spree embalmers what have you and then you've got yourself a fantastic epic shot uh, shotgun epic tactical rifle that's ready for end game with minimal effort required now as far as farming multiple of these there's multiple ways of doing it and it kind of depends on your moral tolerance and how safe you feel about this method so obviously now that i have this gun out um number one you can't dismantle this ever uh, so you don't have to worry about accidentally deleting it but also in order to get another one you either have to make a brand new character and go through the prologue to the point where you enter the first city and you're able to access your stash again. You go and you take that gun, you put it in your stash, you go to a higher level character that has the crafting unlocked and you swap the variant. And then depending on what the firepower is, you trash the gun or you keep the gun, obviously. Um, but if you want to risk it, uh, which I don't know if I would recommend or not. You guys know, like, the way that PCF deals with various exploits and glitches and stuff. You don't want to get your account marked as a, as a cheater or anything, but you could go and basically um, pull whatever it is. If you go into an expedition, die, leave the expedition, and then log out, your stash gets refilled with those, um, with all of these. And so that would be a way where you could get multiple at a time to go and re-roll and then check all at once rather than having to go and make new characters all over again. But again, I think it's kind of in this morally gray area where like maybe they would think of that as exploiting, but I have no idea. I'm just letting you know so that I don't get any comments down below saying, oh, you could do this faster, you could do that faster. Um, but really, that's all there is to it. Some people might save scum, meaning like they go to their crafting menu and they exit out if they don't get the rolls that they want. Um, but again, you're entering morally gray area where it's like, mm, I don't know if PCF would like that. You might get your account flagged. But I'm just laying it all out there for you guys. I think the most basic way of doing this is make a new character, bring him through the prologue, check your pre-order item, put the pre-order item in the stash, swap the variant on your whatever character is higher level. It doesn't have to be a level 50, it could be a level like 10 that has access to crafting. And then you just do that over and over again if you want a potentially incredibly powerful um, tactical assault rifle. And that's really all there is to it. I have no idea when they're going to fix this. I have no idea if they're going to fix this. I'm assuming whenever the pre-order stuff disappears, then they might do something to this. Or, you know, they might nerf tactical rifles even more or nerf bone shrapnel. But regardless, it's a you have the potential to get a very high firepower rifle. And uh, shout out in, to the guy in my chat who recommended this to me. And um, I don't know who actually found it. I think it was popularized by solid fps because he is uh you know he's the king at these games but i don't know who actually discovered it or whatever it was just brought to my attention by uh by a buddy in the chat so i'm um, just letting you know i appreciate you and uh that's really all there is to it i hope you guys found this to be useful at the very least if your inventory has been wiped and you have nothing else to do and you don't want to lose anything on your main character you could level a character to the point where he has crafting unlocked and then do this with you know scrub characters and just transfer it to that guy so it gives you something to do if you're scared about inventory wipes um again i have no idea how pcf is going to approach this so obviously do everything you know with an abundance of caution and you know the the risk is is yours to to choose i guess um but this has been floating out there for a while and I figure some people might be confused why everybody's running around with pre-order rifles or why anybody gives a crap about pre-order rifles. So, 
Um, that's going to be it for me right now, guys. I'm going to be putting out a bunch of other Outriders videos. I just dropped my Melee Devastator 2 CT15 video. There's no, no Tier 3 mods, no Legendaries, none of that stuff. So if you need help with that. Uh, we also got the Trickster to CT15, Pyro to CT15, and Techno to CT15. So if you have any questions about any builds, please check my channel. Follow me on Twitch. You guys know the whole deal. If you have any suggestions or anything you want to see, please let me know. I swear to God, I read every single comment. If they're a mean comment, I don't care. Like, I read every single one. Um, and I really like making these videos for you guys. I'm going to try and make some, like, Outriders Academy videos. I think that's what I'm going to call it. Just, like, basic stuff that people should probably know if they're trying to climb and, like, trying to make decent builds. Uh, but that's it. So, uh, sorry if this rambled on too long. But I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of the risks as well. And uh, have a good day. Damocles out.